What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you how to update the firmware on your TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender. So what you're going to want to do is plug it in and then after you plug it in you're going to see the power light and then that Wi-Fi light is going to come on. You're going to take an Ethernet cable and plug it into the Ethernet port. Then over here on your computer you want to make sure you have no Ethernet connection on your computer and then you plug the Ethernet cable into your computer. Okay so once we're looking at the computer screen up in the URL you're gonna type in 192.168.0.254 username user password will be admin admin unless you changed it like I did in my case. Okay so once you get logged in here you're going to see all of this uh, stuff here, status, wireless, network, advanced settings, system tools. You're going to click on system tools and you're going to click on firmware upgrade. You're going to see firmware upgrade, new firmware file, and you're going to have to go to TP-Link's site. And the important part is right here. If you see Mayan's model TL-WA850RE, but right over here, it's version 2.0. Now I know uh, these extenders are already up to V7.0. That's your firmware version. Or actually, not your firmware version. Your firmware version is up here. But this is uh, the important part that you want to know what you have um, the hardware uh, version is 2.0. So after you find that head on over to TP-Link site and uh, navigate until you find that then we're gonna click browse now once you save your file and then you extract it because it's in a rare file you're gonna find this one up here and I'll bring up the properties it's a uh, bin file so you want to click on your bin file and then open and then you want to click on upgrade now you want to make sure that you're wired to an ethernet cable to do this it's going to ask you are you sure you want to upgrade firmware you're going to click yes now you can see it's starting to upgrade the firmware okay so after the firmware upgrades it's gonna log you back out and then you're gonna have to log back in it does not reset your username or password so make sure you uh, have that on hand and uh, that that's about it that's how you upgrade your firmware